Hey everyone, Shannon here. I'm going to show you a few ways you can improve the performance of After Effects because nobody likes sitting there waiting for After Effects to render out frames, especially if you have a larger composition. Before we get into it, be sure to hit subscribe and be notified when I release new tutorials. All right, After Effects renders out each frame fully. It does not drop frames like Premiere does when it renders the timeline. So AE plays the entire composition for you, which is important when you're animating and you need to keyframe to the frame, not the second. So say you have a composition that's 60 frames per second, that is 60 frames within that second, and it could get extremely detailed and granular when animating. Uh, so you do want this in After Effects, but there are a few easy things to do to make After Effects run faster for you. So number one is to change your memory preferences. AE is using a ton of RAM or your computer's random access memory to play your composition. That is why I personally recommend that your machine has at least 32 gigs of RAM installed. 64 is better. The more detailed compositions, the more RAM is required, or AE is just going to choke. Uh, so if we go to our top menu and select Edit, Preferences, Memory, and Performance, we can see how much RAM is installed on our machine, and how much of that RAM is allocated to Adobe applications like After Effects. You can see I have 128 gigs of RAM installed on my main video editing machine. Crazy, but it helps me so much because when I'm using Premiere and After Effects at the same time, I'm using Dynamic Link, maybe Audition is open and I have Photoshop open all at a given time to work on videos for clients. So we can change how much RAM we want to allow After Effects to soak up. I gave 24 gigs to all of my other computer applications when I'm running Adobe. Uh, it pretty much <laughs> takes the rest of that. To change this, just click on the number of gigs you want your other apps to have. I believe the minimum number I can go to is 12 gigs. Uh, that's obviously different if you have less RAM. So this is going to help you a lot. It lets After Effects know, hey, I'm going to eat up all this memory so I can render a smoother composition. So for the second tip, we're going to stay right within this menu here, and we have to enable our disk cache. So because After Effects is constantly running the frames, it helps your machine to cache these items so AE doesn't have to reproduce them again. So while we're in this box, we will go to Media and Disk Cache. Be sure to check Enable Disk Cache. You can now change the size of how many files are stored, uh, so it's important that you do cache these files on your main drive of your machine and not an external drive. After Effects will have a hard time pulling those files in as well as Premiere or any, any other Adobe apps. So it's always just a good rule of thumb to work locally. You can see mine is already set to my C drive. The last tip I have for you is to change your resolution. So this is a tip I absolutely love because it's super easy and I could change it when I need to super quick. Within your composition window is the change resolution drop down box. Right now it's on full. If I press my spacebar and I try playing this large composition, well, After Effects is forcing all these frames to play in 4K. My composition settings for this video is 4K. So that's crazy. Uh, it's trying to render out all of these intricate animations in 4K resolution, uh, we don't necessarily need to edit in high resolution the whole time. I can click that resolution box and drop it down to, let's say, a quarter. This lowers the resolution to one fourth of the original. So I'm basically viewing it in standard definition. So when I play it, uh, it runs much, much faster. I can see how my animations flow in and what I need to change. So there you go. If you're looking for quick ways to make After Effects run faster, this is it. If you'd like to learn video editing right alongside me, then check out my online course on Skillshare. Please take a second to subscribe, like, or comment. Thanks for watching.